Hey guys, today we're not gonna do a game. I'm sorry, I know that's like a thumbs down to you guys because I'm always playing a game. Well, if you want, you could send me a link to a horror game or something if you find one that's very fun. Anyways, today we're gonna play Bong, wait, Bong Tron Da Ghost. Mystery sketch in 2011 written and illustrated by Horang. The story is based on eyewitness accounts. Sounds pretty scary. I bet it is. Let's, let's, let's do this. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted, after a tiring night study sessions at school. But, was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. Usually I see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Oh, oh it's a Chinese girl. Anime! Anyways, <laughs> feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a stretching, wait, uh, suddenly a stretching towards me it caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see the, who there was. Oh, is that a zombie? It's a woman. Oh, it's a woman walking in front of me. Oops, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was very, uh, she was wearing dirty pink pajamas, <laughs> and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out of it. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. And I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ow! Oh my god! Okay, okay. And now I'm gonna, that image is gonna be inside my head of a Chinese woman with bleeding eyes. That's scary. Anyways, oh jeez. You know, people say, I never knew comics could be scary. Like, I mean, like, like, messed up like this. But it's actually pretty cool. Anyways, uh, okay. You know, people say that if you were really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move. Oh, wait. Where's my baby? My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god! I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills. Thinking that moment. Gulp. <laughs> There's a hand. It's pointing. I answered pointing as far as I could. Oh, over there. Wanting her to get away from me. When she limped toward me, where I'd pointed. And I couldn't see her anymore. In her feet. Fearing that I might run into her again. I tried around and leave the apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there could be people around. And at that moment. Remember to stay closely to the screen. She's not here. I heard her screaming from far away. Uh, oh, she... <gasps> Was that a burp? Oh my god. I don't remember anything from then on. Oh my god. That my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. Jeez. In 2007, apartment complex in Bong Chan Dong, Gua uh, Guana Aku Sul, a 32 year old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. No one knows her surname, Chow, or Cho, whatever. A divorce due to her extra martial. I think that's what it says. Affair. She had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Chow or Chu, yeah, 
child was better, was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. And after that incident, child was seen walking around that part car complex several Wait, did I just read the same thing? Oh my gosh. Where did? That was very interesting. Considering that, um, there's pop-ups in there that scared the crap out of me. And don't read this at in the dark. Well, see ya.